Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. This is actually a Friday filler. First one for ages, I know, but I've just been busy doing other stuff. I've had a heap of you asking me about these things. So when I first got those about four months ago, I did a quick video, kind of a, just on my first impressions of them and that sort of stuff. I'll leave a link up here and you can go have a look at that if you haven't seen it before. Anyway, I've had a heap of you asking me four months on, what do I think of them? So I figured I'll tell you in a video. If you haven't watched that other video, or you can't remember, or you don't know, these are the Orvis Pro Raiders. This is the new Raiders, well, I guess they're not that new now, but they were the new Raiders, just the newest Raiders. These are the top of the range Raiders from Orvis. As a rule, I'll get maybe no more than three months out of a pair of waders before they start to leak, give up, kind of, you know, just stop being waders anymore. So that's pretty much the best I've done. It's about three months or so. Now, granted, I've never really tried out any of the high-end Sims ones or any other brand, really. Uh, so these are the first really like, top-end waders I've tried. I got them back at the end of May. So easy, easy four months, maybe a little bit longer than four months. And I'm pleased to say they're still keeping me dry. From the word go, I like them a lot. The fit's really nice and athletic, kind of, so it's not big and baggy and crap around here. It fits me really nicely. They seem really kind of durable. Uh, this material seems really, you know, just tough. And it seems to be holding up. I mean, I do a lot of bush bashing, I do a lot of time on the water, a lot of walking, that kind of stuff, and, and they are still keeping me dry. They've got a decent wading belt, I really like that. The knee pads. These knee pads, uh, I'm not sure I can live without these now. They are stunningly good. Really, if for no other reason alone, I'd probably recommend you get them just for the knee pads. Let's go down to the bottom. So as you can see, um, they've had some wear. Uh, so these gravel guards, I mean, they are, they're still holding up pretty much. And they've got, you know, wear and tear just from, you know, rubbing against rocks and that kind of stuff. Just generally where the, the gravel guards tend to go. The hooks are still in. I mean, they don't really stay on, but none, none of them ever really seem to stay on. But even though they don't stay on, this new kind of um, flexible, flexible kind of thing at the back grips onto the back of the boot really well, and they never ride up over the boot. So that, that's that's a real good good thing. I've got a really bad wear point right here on the neoprene um, kind of sock rim. Uh, so I just put a little bit of shoe goo on there just to kind of stop it getting any worse and that's that's still good this i'm not really fussed about that's just, just that's just cosmetic and i don't really care and the same on this side that's just that's just where they go from rubbing together the neoprene socks they're really nice and fitted so they don't bunch up when you put your feet in the boots and get all uncomfortable so you know top marks for that the more you wear them as with anything they kind of wear and mold themselves to you and become a bit more comfortable uh, i have no use for that inside pocket thing so i just took that out and threw that in a cupboard somewhere but i'm sure it's very good i think these are currently retailing in new zealand at around a thousand bucks which is a lot of money for a pair of waders but there's a good pair of sims for like 1500 and you know there's some ones for around a thousand so if you're looking for a really nice pair of top end waders these are definitely worth looking at not only are they well made and they do they look good they seem to be they seem to be holding up to the abuse like i said i've never had a pair of waders keep me dry four months after i've got them and we're still going i don't show any real signs of leaking so i might i might get five months i might get six months i don't know they're, they're going well and we're into new territory there so that's pretty good if they're going to last me that long they're probably going to last you a fair bit longer knee pads great fitting great durable seems to be real durable i like them i'd probably say they're my favorite waders yet yes there's cheaper waders yes there's other waders and it really comes down to a kind of a personal preference but if you're thinking about them and you want to drop some money on them and you're wondering 
are they as good as they say they are? I think they are. I think they're pretty good. They're good waders, they're well made, and they're gonna last you a long time. How long, I don't know. I will keep you posted. I should hopefully be out of waders in a month or so and into wet wading, but you know, I'll keep you posted and I'll just let you know how long they last until they start to leak. All right, I hope that answers some questions. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below. Tell me if you've bought some, or you're gonna buy some, or you go and buy some. Tell me what you think about them. I'll be interested just on your experience with them, because you know this is just one pair, and this is all I know. So I'd be kind of keen to hear just what what you think of them. In the meantime, I'm gonna go back to the editing desk and uh, carry on editing a video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. We'll go for a fish. Peace.